hello everyone welcome or welcome back to my channel in this video i'm going to be showing you guys how to crochet this bunny balaclava it's a very easy pattern and it's also beginner friendly so yeah let's get into it so these are the colors that i'm going to be using this is a five ply yarn so i'm going to double it to make it 10 ply just because i want you to have more weight using your four millimeter hook you're going to make a slip knot to make a slip knot you wrap the yarn around two fingers and then put the long end in the middle and then pull the loop out put the loop on your hook and make sure you don't pull it too tight Now you're going to chain 4 Go into the first chain you made and make a slip knot Chain 4 Now you're going to do a double crochet at the center of the circle. So you yarn over and then you pull your hook to the center, yarn over and pull the loop out, yarn over again and pull through two loops, yarn over again and pull through the last two loops. Now you're going to make three more double crochets in that same center. That's four double crochets in total. You also want to make sure you carry the shorter yarn along while crocheting. After the four double crochets, you're going to make two treble crochets. So for a treble crochet, you yarn over twice, go to the center, pull out the yarn, yarn over, pull out two loops, yarn over, pull out two loops, yarn over, and pull out the last two loops. So this is the second treble crochet, still working in that same center. Yarn over, pull through two loops. Yarn over again, pull through two loops, yarn over and pull through the last two loops. Then you're going to chain four and start working the other side of the hat. Now you're going to go into the center and make a slip knot. Chain 4 Make 2 treble crochets And make sure you're still carrying the other short yarn along After the 2 treble crochets Make four double crochets. Now you're going to count one, two, three, four, and make one double crochet not in the stitch beside it, the chain, the fourth chain. 
you want to make sure you go under the v of the fourth chain not just under the chain itself Now we're done with the first part of the hat. To start the second part, you chain 4. Then you make one double crochet under the chain that you just made. Then for the next three stitches, you're going to make two double crochets each. So this is the first stitch. I've made one double crochet in it. I'm going to make a second double crochet in that same stitch. So I'm just going to do this for the next two stitches. So we have a total of three stitches that have two double crochets each in it. After that, your next stitch is going to have one double crochet and one treble crochet. So making the treble crochet and going into that same stitch. The next stitch is going to be two treble crochets. Now we have one stitch left and in that stitch you're going to do three treble crochets. Now you're going to do one double crochet under the fourth chain which is beside the stitch we just did. So you count one, two, three, four and that's your fourth chain. Now chain 4 and make a slip knot in the center of the heart. Make sure you pull the yarn very tight so that the slip knot will not be loose. After you make the slip knot, chain 4. Then make a double crochet in the fourth chain. After that, make three treble crochets in this stitch beside it. The fourth chain and the first stitch tend to look alike. So try not to confuse them. Make two treble crochets in the next stitch. Yeah. 
In the next stitch, make one treble crochet and one double crochet. After that, you're going to have just three stitches left. In each stitch, you're going to make two double crochets. After that, make one double crochet in the fourth chain. And you want to make sure you're going under the V of the chain. While you still have two loops on your hook, you're going to switch to a different color. So you first make a slip knot and put it on your hook. Making sure the knot is not too tight, you're going to yarn over and pull the yarn through the three loops on your hook. Chain 1 now you're going to be making single crochets and not double crochets. The first single crochet is going to be under our chain 1 stitch. So you go into the stitch, yarn over, bring it out, yarn over again and bring it out through the two loops. That's how you do a single crochet. Now you're going to do one single crochet in the next 8 stitches. So I'm just pulling on the other color that I used earlier and then I'm going to cut it off. Now you're going to make two single crochets each in the next seven stitches. Then make one single crochet in the fourth chain. Then another single crochet near the chain beside it. Skip the next chain and make one single crochet in this first chain. Now we're done with the first side. We're going to start working on the second side. Skip this first chain and make a single crochet in the second chain. Make a single crochet in the next chain. Make one single crochet in the chain beside it. Now you're going to make two single crochets each in the next six stitches. Now make one single crochet in the next six stitches. Make two single crochets in the last stitch. Now you're going to go into the first single crochet stitch that you made and make a slip knot. Chain one and cut the yarn. Pull the yarn out and make sure the knot it's made is tight. So this is what it looks like. Now we're going to be using a third color for our inner outline. 
so you're going to make a slip knot and then put it on your hook reduce it to the size of your hook and then take it off without loosening the knot to make the heart outline you're just going to follow this line like this and make a heart shape so you're going to put your hook through to the other side and then put it inside the loop that you made chain one and bring the yarn out through the loop to the other side put your hook in the next one yarn over and bring the yarn out through the loop to the other side so you're just going to keep on repeating this process while you form the heart shape till you get back to where you started from So when I get to this upper part, I'm going to start working downwards to form that V shape. So after I go into the center, I'm going to start working upwards again. After the V shape, you're going to start working your way down till you get to the point that you started from. After you do the last one, you're going to cut the yarn and you're going to pull it through. Then you get your darning needle and put the yarn that you cut through it. Now you're just going to put it through this first stitch here. So this is what the back looks like now before i weave these ends in i'm just going to make a knot just for this particular one so it doesn't loosen then i'm going to weave it in pull out the rope at the center in order to close the center circle so i'm just using a smaller size hook to go under the stitches so i'm going to go under like maybe five or six stitches and then i'll cut the yarn you could also use your needle for this assuming the yarn was longer in length Now you can see that it's not showing at the other side. Now you're going to do the same thing to the other strands of yarn. Now you're going to go ahead and make two more hats using different colors. Just the same way you made the first one. After making the three hats, keep them aside and begin the next part. Now you're going to make a magic circle. You take the long end of the yarn and wrap it around your two fingers. Then use your hook and bring the yarn out from under.
chain one and make 10 double crochets inside the circle and after the 10th double crochet you're going to pull on that short yarn in order to close the circle after the 10 double crochets go into the first stitch that you made and make a slip knot chain 2 now for this next row you're going to make two double crochets each in each stitch that is a total of 20 stitches after that go into the first stitch and make a slip knot chain 2 this next row is going to be one double crochet in the first stitch and then two double crochets in the second stitch so you're just going to keep on alternating them one double crochet two double crochets one double crochet two double crochets till you get to the end of the row make a slip knot in the first stitch chain two for this next row you're going to make one double crochet in the first stitch one double crochet in the second stitch two double crochets in the third stitch and you're going to just repeat this till the end of the row while you still have two loops on your hook you're going to switch colors make a slip knot and put it on your hook yarn over and pull it out through the three loops go into the first stitch and make a slip knot chain 2 for this next row you're going to make one double crochet each in the first three stitches and then in the fourth stitch you make two double crochets so this is the first double crochet in the first stitch now making the second double crochet in the second stitch and the third double crochet in the third stitch in this fourth stitch you're going to make two double crochets So you are going to just repeat the same process till the end of the row. Make a slip knot in the first stitch. Chain 1 and cut the yarn. Now you're just going to weave in the ends and make three more using different colors. So you're going to chain 75. Skip this first chain and go into the next chain and make a double crochet. Continue making double crochets in each chain till you have just one chain left. Make 
make 5 double crochets in the last chain After the 5 double crochets, make 1 double crochet in the next stitch. Continue making 1 double crochet in each stitch till the end of the row. At the end of the row, chain 1 and turn your work. Make 1 double crochet in every stitch till the end of the row. But before you do that, you're going to go to the other end and place your stitch markers. These stitch markers will help us know where we are going to be doing our increases. So remember the 5 stitches we made in that last chain. You're going to put your first stitch marker on the first stitch and then you put the second stitch marker on the fifth stitch so you are going to keep making your double crochets till you get to the point where you put your stitch markers make two double crochets in each of the five stitches starting from this stitch that has the first stitch marker so after you make the first double crochet Remove the stitch marker and put it on the stitch that you just made. Making the second double crochet for that stitch. So like I said, you make 2 double crochets in the 5 stitches, that's till you get to where the other stitch marker is. When you get to the 5th stitch, just remove the stitch marker, make the 2 double crochets and put the stitch marker back on the last double crochet. So you just put it back on this last double crochet that you did. Now you're going to make one double crochet in each stitch till you get to the end of the row. At the end of the row, chain 1 and turn your work. Now you're going to keep making 1 double crochet in each stitch till you get to the point where the stitch markers are. Now you're going to make 2 double crochets in each stitch starting from this stitch that has the first stitch marker after you make the first double crochet remove the stitch marker and place it on that double crochet So making the second double crochet for that stitch. So just keep on making two double crochets in each stitch till you get to the other stitch marker. Mm -hmm. 
remove the stitch marker and make two double crochets then you put the stitch marker back on the last double crochet Place the stitch marker on the last double crochet. Now you're going to continue making one double crochet in each stitch till the end of the row. Chain 1 and turn your work. Continue making one double crochet in each stitch till you get to where the stitch marker is. Now you're going to remove the stitch marker. Then find the middle of the curve here. Then count one, two, three, and put your stitch marker on the third one. Remove the second stitch marker. Then you start counting from the stitch that has the first stitch marker. One, two, three, four, five, and put the stitch marker here. Continue doing your double crochets till you get here. Then make two double crochets in each stitch from the first stitch marker to the second stitch marker. Then make normal double crochets till the end of the row. While you still have two loops on your hook, you're going to switch colors. Make a slip knot and put it on your hook. Yarn over and pull the yarn through the three loops. Chain one and turn your work. Now you're going to make one double crochet in each stitch till you get to the curved end. But make like five or six double crochets first. Then you pull these two strands and then cut it off and then you continue the double crochet. Before you continue, you're going to go to the curved end and put your stitch markers. So you're just going to locate the center like you did before. And then count one two three four and put your stitch marker there then for the second stitch marker counting from the stitch that has the first stitch marker you count one two three four five six seven and put the stitch marker on the seventh stitch so from the first stitch marker to the second stitch marker, you will make two double crochets in each stitch. After that, make one double crochet in the remaining stitches till the end of the row. Then you switch colors again. Yarn over and pull through the three loops. Chain one and turn your work. For this row, you are going to make only single crochets. There will be no increases anywhere in this row. So you just make one single crochet in each stitch till the end of the row. When you get to the end of the row, you just chain one and cut the yarn. After you're done with this, make a second one using different colors. So you make this using exactly the same process as you made the first one. To join the two sides together, get your needle and yarn. So you just put the yarn through the needle. Make sure the color of yarn you're using is the same color with the yarn you use for the edges. 
also the yarn should be long enough to go around the entire edge so you just put them on top of each other like this make sure it's straight and no part is longer than the other so you're going to start from this side here join them together by working in the inner loops only so you're going to do this stitch by stitch making sure that the stitch you're working on on one side is directly opposite to the stitch on the other side so you're going to keep pulling the yarn till you have just like a small strand left so now i'm just going into the inner loops of the next stitch so you're going to continue this on all the single crochets till the end of the row to make this process faster you can go into like four stitches at once just like you see here and then pull the yarn afterwards After you're done with the edges, go ahead and sew this place together. Now you're going to go ahead and make a knot so that it doesn't come loose. Then you're going to weave the ends in. I'm using a smaller size crochet hook for this, but you can go ahead and use a crochet needle. After this, you're done with the first ear. Now go ahead and make a second one. So I decided to make a few hearts that I was going to add on the ears and also the position where I wanted them to be. So going ahead to sew it down. So using my crochet needle, I'm going under the nude colored yarn and then directly under the pink heart. So I'm just going to keep on sewing it down like this while following the shape of the heart. So you're just going to continue like that till you get to where you started from. Make a knot using the two strands. Now you're going to go ahead and weave in the ends. So you go under the nude brown yarn, then after going under a few stitches, you bring the needle out and then cut the yarn. Then go ahead and sew down the remaining hearts. So you are going to start with these three heart shaped pieces. So I am going to put the first one here and the other two under each eye. Hold the pieces together with two stitch markers in this position. This helps to mark the area that you are going to join together. Use your yarn and needle and join them together by working in the inner loops. So this is what it looks like. Now we are going to join these three together by crocheting in the middle here. The color of yarn I am going to be using to join is this color here. Then you are going to turn this one so that the wrong side is facing you. Make a slip knot and put it on your hook. Now you are going to go into the second stitch by the right.
pull the yarn through the loops and chain one now you're going to go into the next stitch and make a single crochet now you're going to make another single crochet in the middle here make another single crochet in the next stitch chain one and turn your work now you're going to make one single crochet in each of the three stitches chain one and turn your work now you're going to make five more rows of this single crochet So in total you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 rows of single crochet. Then chain 1 and cut the yarn. To join these two pieces together, bend this one like this and you want to make sure it's straight before sewing it together. Now you're going to join them by going into the inner loops of each stitch. After the third stitch, cut the yarn and weave the ends in. So this is what it looks like. Now you're going to take the first set of round pieces that you made and you're going to place it by this side here. Now you're going to place a stitch marker here and then another stitch marker by this side here. Now you're going to take the second one and do exactly the same thing you did for the first one. Now you're going to put another stitch marker here and then you do the same thing to the other side. So this is what it should look like. Now you're going to go ahead and sew this place together. Starting from here going downwards, join 6 stitches together. Place your stitch marker here, here, and here, and then you're going to sew it down. Now you're just going to place a few stitch markers to hold it in place, and then you're going to go ahead and sew it down. Now go into the first stitch and pull the yarn through the loop. Chain 2 and make a double crochet in the next stitch. Now you're going to keep on making one double crochet in each stitch till you get to the point where the heart stopped. When you get there, you're going to join it to the other side by making a slip knot. Chain 2 and turn your work. Now you're going to make one double crochet in each stitch on this row that you just made. At the end of the row, chain one and turn your work. For this row, you're going to do a decrease at every fourth stitch. So you make three normal double crochets and then do a decrease at the fourth stitch.
on the fourth stitch you do a decrease by going into the front loops of two stitches so you go into the front loop of the first stitch and the front loop of the second stitch pull the yarn through the first loop and then through the second loop and then through the third loop yarn over and pull the yarn through the last two loops continue crocheting like this till the end of the row at the end of the row make a slip knot chain one and cut the yarn now that the left side is done you're going to join it to the right side use your yarn and needle and sew it together Now you're going to start the next crochet from this side here. Make a slip knot and go into the first stitch. Pull the yarn through the loops and chain two. Starting from the next stitch, make one double crochet in each stitch and this is just on this hat that we are crocheting on now. So you crochet till you get to this point here and then you chain one and turn your work. For this row, you are going to make a decrease at every third stitch. So you make normal double crochets on the first two stitches and then on the third stitch you make a decrease At the end of the row, make a slip knot. Chain one and turn. This row is going to be a normal double crochet row, so you are going to make one double crochet in each stitch till the end of the row. At the end of the row, chain one and cut the yarn. Now you're going to join these two sides together. So this is what it looks like. Now I'm going to go ahead and make the back panel. So I've already made the one by the right. Now I'm going to make the other one by the left. So you start by finding the center from the top and then you place your stitch marker there. Now we're going to start by crocheting on this side first. So starting from this middle side here, put your hook through the stitch and then put the loop on your hook. Pull the yarn through the loops and chain one. Go into the next stitch and make a single crochet. Make one double crochet each in the remaining stitches till you get to the end of the curve.
chain one and turn now you're going to make one double crochet in each of the stitches you just made now you're going to make one treble crochet in the middle here Make one double crochet in the next stitch. Make another double crochet in the next stitch. Make a single crochet in the next two stitches. Make a slip knot in the next stitch. Chain one and cut the yarn. So from where you stopped, you're going to count 8 stitches. Put your hook in the 8th stitch and put the loop on your hook. Pull the yarn through the loops and chain 2. Starting from the next stitch, Make one double crochet in each stitch till the end of the row. At the end of the row, chain 1 and turn. Make 4 more rows of normal double crochet. And for the last row, you're going to make 1 single crochet in each stitch. At the end of the row, chain 1 and cut the yarn. So this is what it looks like. Now we're going to join these two sides together. So you're just going to put it together like this and then you're going to use your needle and sew it from the front. Now we're going to make the loops for the ribbon. So I'm going to be starting from this side here, going in through here and under the stitch. Put the loop on your hook. Yarn over and bring the yarn through the loop and from under the stitch. Now you're going to chain 10. And then you're going to go into the first chain and make a slip knot. Then chain 2 and go under the next stitch. Yarn over and pull the yarn through the loop. Now you're going to chain 10 and just repeat the same process. So I decided to make 5 loops on each side and after this, I'm going to go ahead and put the ribbon. So this is the ribbon that I'm going to be using and I really like it because it has glitters on it and it makes it look really shiny.
so i made little hearts to put on the back because i didn't like the way it was looking so plain i also made more that i put by the sides like here and here now that i'm done with the back i'm going to go ahead and join the ears to this so you fold the first half and sew it down and then fold the second half and sew it down So I'm going to place them somewhere around here because I didn't want them to be too high or too low. I'm going to use a stitch marker to hold it in place while I'm taking it off and then I'm going to go ahead and sew it down. So I'm going to sew it down at this point here. 